YouTube and welcome back to Old Flats. This is Cubin2 and as promised I'm going to show you the rescue game mode which is the sort of the second single player game mode that you can have. Okay so we're going to play as you see this is rescue we've played defense before you can play these other game modes as well but I want to play them as multiplayer so if any of you guys are playing this at the moment or want to play it it costs about five or six quid on Steam come over let's play and we can do a dual com and we can upload it and we can see how good it is as a multiplayer game. I'll be honest, I have a real feeling that this will be a just an excellent game mode once it is sort of implemented in, into a multiplayer arena and it'll be quite good to check out some other maps as well. So what we're going to play is Rescue. Now the idea is that you have some little Dilberts and you need to try and get them to go to their home. Now the problem is obviously you've got enemies that are stopping your way and I actually don't want those two there, I want them there. Come back, you need to go there okay so we're going to try and get our little our little guys through and uh i need to try and get rid of these now that was actually a bit of a fail on my part so we're going to try and chuck a laszlo in see if he can just take out these flints for us and if he can that will be all good as you see there are four bases here that we need to try and sort of save our little dudes from and it depends what way you want them to go really because it, it, you're either gonna you're gonna be taking on a certain amount of of enemies at any one time anyway so you, get, you just need to sort of determine what's going to be the best route to avoid the most damage to them so let's uh, let's just move around here quickly I don't know if I can block this tile no I can't okay so we need to get a few more units out now as well so let's chuck another Laszlo out and give him in defense over here now we are gonna you're gonna find that this actually gets pretty chaotic pretty quickly this mode and if you don't get to grips with it fairly soon you actually will find yourself in quite a bit of trouble because it can get it can get to a point where you get swamped by enemy players and when that ha with enemy troops sorry and when that happens you're in a lot of trouble now these are called uh, these are little like dudes are called quicks bots or something uh, I didn't really like that name so I've called them Dilberts instead I find Dilbert is a far more sort of affectionate term for for, for these particular little bots okay so we're gonna bring up we're gonna level him up we need to make sure that our Laszlo is actually gonna be doing the damage and helping protect our little defenseless civilians okay so I need to move him over here now as you can see now there's only one way that they can come through over this the, over this bridge and uh, that's for hopefully going to create enough of a defensive area for me to be allowed to get my little units through now what I want to try and do now I've got a few more through is bring a Ricky in and get him here I want to try and take out these guys as early as possible now it's obviously very difficult to do that because there's only a certain number of blocks that you can you can put in but I want to try and make it as long a path as possible so that they will have to go round. Now, I don't know if I've done that right. I've probably done something okay there, I think. So we need to take on this guy, and you can take him on as well. Let's double up on him. Tag team. Tag team. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we're not doing too, too badly at the moment. We're actually supporting our, our little dudes quite well. We've got 20 civilians through. We're going to aim for about 75. Uh, I think that's probably a reasonable score. I should probably be looking for over 100, but it's not likely to happen. We are getting swamped a little bit now, so I need to pull out some more Laszlo's and start getting some defense in around this side of the map and we'll bring in another Laszlo to sit there as well. Now what I want to try and do is get a Sid involved at some point because the Sid will obviously offer me a lot further range with regards to uh, how far away I can shoot and ultimately take out a lot of the guys that I'm uh, trying to defend against. So the more civilians you get in, you get 20 points per civilian uh, or Dilbert as we're calling them. And with my Laszlo here, we should be able to... Uh, you need to come back and take him out first because he's going to wipe the floor of everyone. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come and get them. Okay, one of you dudes, you've got to come around here. Attack him, good. Okay, so that guy should be taken out fairly easily. Okay, that's good. Right, you dudes need to take him out. Come on, take him out. Oh, we need to pick that up. We need to pick that up very quickly. Please do it. No, they found the stash. That's never a good thing. That's, those are white boxes, a stash of cubes, like bonus cubes that you can pick up, and that's a, it's obviously not an ideal situation. I need to level this guy up, otherwise he's going to get dead pretty quickly. I need to level this guy up as well. Come on, take him out. He's only a little unit. Okay, so bring you need to come back down around here. They're actually going to run into my Laszlo's as well, which is actually a pretty good scenario for me. Okay, so now I can get my SIDs involved. 
Uh, can I not put them on there? I can't put them on there. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so I'm going to put my SIDs just over here, sort of defending this area as much as possible. So there's one SID up. Now let's get some flints in as well for some just some extra firepower down through there. I want to be creating as much problems as I can for these guys as early as I can at this room as soon as they spawn. As you can see, we're actually up to 35 civilians with 5 minutes gone. So we're not in a too bad a shape here. Uh, what I could do with doing this, these two blocks here are highly important on this map to make sure that you channel the enemy around the furthest possible uh, path because otherwise that if they get involved wait a bit too early then you just get overrun as I said. And this game mode, I don't know whether I prefer it to uh, defense, I actually prefer I don't know, I, f I find them quite, for both of them quite fun, but it, it's, it's sort of a, a, a toss-up between the two, which is actually quite good, because it means I'm going to play them equally, which means I'm having a lot of fun with both. So I need to try and get some upgrades done in here. We're actually doing quite well with regards to our uh, number of blocks that we're, we're actually gaining here, because we're getting so many civilians through. It's when their upgrades come in that we're, our problems will really start. Okay, so we've got a quite a good handle on this at the moment. I'm just going to bring in another SID double up the damage here and also I'm going to bring in a SID here so that with my long range attacks I'm going to be able to pick them off as early as possible. They are quite expensive to upgrade them but uh, at the same time they do do quite a lot of damage. They don't spam in quite the way that the uh, grill does but they do higher damage so it's sort of the trade off you need to make. It's the persistent damage against the higher damage. It's like I was saying before it's very important to create strike that balance early on. Okay, so now that we're actually we're in a really powerful position here, I don't know if our civilians are actually getting through. We need to try and get you into the into the battle zone a bit more. Okay, that's fine. Uh, right, so this thing is now spawning as well. So what I'm going to try and do is get some wall units in here and make sure that they're actually coming towards my units. Come on. And that I'm creating enough of a defensive path so that they'll just be able to run into some heavy firepower. If I can do that, it's going to be a, uh, it's going to be, it's going to be a bit of a slaughter, and that's good because that means my civilians will survive a lot earlier. Okay, so my Sid's, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to max him out now. That's fine. Uh, I've also got a Laszlo here that I'm going to max out. As you can see, my block count is going up very, very fast at the moment, and that's because we're getting so many civilians through. Um, we're at 56. I said 75. We might even. I don't think we're going to make 100, which is unfortunate, but uh, we should be somewhere in the region of. I don't know. We're, we'll we'll get to 75, I think. So I'm going to be happy if we reach 75. I need to start bringing out some more of the heavy artillery again. Let's get a Sid involved and we'll stick him there. That's quite a good position for him, I think. Uh, we're going to get a Flint involved and we're going to stick him up there so that they're going to be taking damage straight off the bat. Uh, I do not want... If I can claim that, I'm gonna, he's going to need to be quick. He's not going to get there in time. Sugar, that's not good. We often... Uh, we often find that those damage things will cause a lot of punishment. There's no regen uh, point in here either. And there's no teleporters. This is the level here, and it's quite early on in the game. It's the second level, so I thought it would be quite nice to show you this. Uh, it's sort of a nice, easy level for you to go at. Okay, so we need to get some more Laszlo's involved around this corner, because we are starting to get overrun just a little bit here, and that's never good. Okay, Grill, you need to come back in here. You're actually useless where you are. Right, okay, so let's... Uh, See, in here now, around, around this sort of right-hand area, let's uh, just scroll in a little bit and uh, take a look at this bit here. This is a very powerful point now because all of these guys are taking either long-range shots down through here and these guys that are spawning here are getting just battered straight away. You see, he's come through, he actually leveled him up and it didn't make any difference. Uh, he's going to pick up the stash. No, he's not. Let's just zoom out a bit here and go and pick up that little stash. How much was in it? 80 few cubes. That's always nice. Uh, that's going to equal another SID and another SID and another SID. Now hopefully these guys won't attack my SIDs too early on. They probably will because uh, I probably haven't thought about that as well as I should. We're going to just load up with Laszlo's now. We've got enough money that we can just stop spamming Laszlo's at them and hopefully just get into a position where they, they just cannot get through. I'm going to try also and get these guys in here so that they'll just have to walk through a wall of Laszlo's in order to get through. So we've got a minute left. I'm hoping to get to 75, but there's, this is actually going uh, not quite as smoothly as I'd hoped it would. I need to get another Laszlo in here. He seems to be taken out. Sids seem to be taking out people early. That's quite good. Okay, so uh, that's a Laszlo. Let's max him out. Let's get another one. Let's max him out. 
just want to try and get as much firepower into the vital areas as possible. They're actually coming through now, which is never a good thing. So hopefully my little back wall of things is going to do it. Okay, let's go and pick up this mega damage. Okay, that's good. This is good. So we're actually in a really powerful position again now. So hopefully, after I've uh, upgraded him, 68. Oh my god, we need 7 to get through the wall. You guys need to start doing some more damage. Come on, we're aiming for 75 and we've only got 30 seconds to go. This is not a good thing at the moment. Uh, have we got sufficient on the runway to do it? Yes, we do. So we're going to need to get five more through to reach my little mini target, uh, which I don't think is that high a target, especially on this early level. Um, but it's going to be quite nice if I can just show you guys that and actually achieve something at the same time. So we've got 71 and, uh, wow, we've got 15 seconds left. Where are they getting taken out from? Okay, they're managing to get through now. They're managing to get through. So my Laszlo's are doing a pretty good job of defending now. Uh, how long have we got left? Six left, and I need to get three through. Oh no, I'm not going to achieve it. I'm not going to achieve it. 74. No, I was literally three blocks away from it. Okay, but that's a victory. We've got 74 civilians through. I hope you enjoyed that. That was a great little game, wasn't it? Uh, it's a very interesting game mode, very exciting, action packed, and you, it's, you've got to be strategic from the word go, and you've got to create your balances early. It's actually the first time I've done defense, uh, sorry, rescue on this map, so I, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Anyway, thank you very much for watching i've been old flads i'm going to be balancing these uh these cube men 2 uh, videos out uh, depending on how you like them if you like them a lot then i'll probably put a few more out but i'm going to actually balance them against company of heroes the beta for that which uh got a key for yesterday so uh, i'll see how that goes if you uh, if you enjoy that we might do a bit of that as well that's a that's an rts game as well so we'll see anyway thank you very much for watching i've been old flads cheers and goodbye